This is Camzilla51 with another Transformers video review, and today we have Henke Classics Bumblebee. And um, I gotta say, I really like this figure. This was another lucky draw for me because um, I found him at Anime Expo with Henke Megatron. Um, it was just a really lucky find because they didn't really have a whole bunch of Transformers there. But um, anyway, I'm really glad I picked this one up because I am super happy with it. Um, this is his vehicle mode here. It's not a Volkswagen bug because um, Volkswagen said that they were that tr that Hasbro was off limits to the Volkswagen bug model because it didn't want its vehicles associated with war themes. But it looks like a good enough Bumblebee alt mode anyway. It it, it looks fantastic. Um, he comes with this little trailer hitch thing. It's it's a, a a jet ski named Wave Crusher. It it becomes a jet pack later on. But I'll just set that to the side for now. Um but this is the main main course right here, the main cheese. Um here's the the uh classic Sen K Bumblebee and here's um a yellow Volkswagen Beetle. It's not bad. It looks really similar. And um it does everything that it really should as far as designs go. Um, I have noticed just um, a few minutes ago, actually, that this spoiler actually comes off. I didn't know that before. But it makes it look a lot more like the Volkswagen bug. And I think I might keep it off now. Because the, the spoiler is chromed, but it's it's silver here and gold here and silver again on the side. It's just like, uh, okay, whatever. But um, I just figured out that you could take it off. I didn't know you could do that. Um, but it does make it look a lot more accurate to a Volkswagen Beetle. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it for alt mode. On to the uh, robot mode. It's very similar to the G1 transformation, yet it has some new uh, noodle things to surprise us. I'll, yeah, I'll start at the side. Um, first, take the uh, door out like this. And then the arm rotates out to replace the wheel in the wheel well. And the door flips around and then plugs into the side of the arm. And the same thing with the other side. The door comes out, the arm flips 180 degrees, and the arm plugs in like that. Then to get the waist down, what you want to do is flip this hitch up. And then this whole part flips and clicks into place like that. Then towards the legs. The seats flip down like this for to fill out the thighs. Straighten the legs. These two hood pieces come up and then down like that and they split. And then those are his legs and feet. So moving on a little bit to the uh, upper half. Then the arms flip down and then the chest goes down and pegs into there and the head follows it on the same axis and tabs into that right there and it also locks these little wheels into place like that and there you have it I love this mold right here this is properly representing a classics Henke Bumblebee because he's finally in his G1 colors and Takara Japan knows how to make it right they I put all the yellow places and the black places where they need to be and completely made it awesome. Um, they, I, I absolutely love this color scheme. It's a lot better than the white stripes and and white section back here. It, it's absolutely phenomenal in this color scheme. i um, really glad I picked this one up. And a nice little Autobot symbol on the chest. And as far as the head sculpt goes, I just zoom in, I mean focus on this right here. This is a nice head sculpt because it accurately represents the G1 character and it actually looks like it has a bit of a smirk, a little smile. You know, it, it's subtle but it's, it looks like it's definitely there. And it's nice to see because you don't find a whole lot of Transformers that have a smile on their face. So it, it's a nice little fun, light-hearted break from that. 
Um, so yeah, this is uh, Bumblebee in his robot mode. For the Wave Crusher um, pack, the uh, accessory that comes with him, um, basically what you want to do is split this apart like that, and then fold these forward, and rotate this down. Just like that. And then it uh, comes down vertically into here, and tabs into that little hole right there. And then just pose it however you want, and uh, then Bumblebee's got a jetpack. And I gotta say, I like this jetpack a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I didn't think it was really going to impress me all that much, but it actually does. Because the wheels don't really look like wheels in this mode. They look more like turbines, you know, like wind turbines. And he looks like he actually could, um, you know, take off and fly with this. Um, it doesn't always have to stick out to the sides. You can, if you want, fold these back like this. And it just... It's subtle. It hides away. It adds a little bit of character to it. Um, I think that I would rather see, rather like to see this jetpack upgrade for Cliff Jumper, and I might just hide this away for Bumblebee, because um, you know Cliff Jumper's the one with the, all the guns, and you know he's he's the badass. Bumblebee's the friendly guy, you know the light-hearted little you know the young one. It makes all the humans you know laugh, and he likes to play around with them and whatnot. Um, so, Bumblebee is the best friend. And I like this mold a lot. It really represents that. Good job, Hasbro and Takara. Um, so, I'll set him off to the side there. And here is the War for Cybertron Bumblebee for comparison. Um, it has some similarities, like in the head sculpt. Um, looks really similar. Um, the chest, not so much, because it's a different part of the vehicle. And the other parts, uh, maybe-ish. But it still has the uh, side arm pieces on the side. And um, just little comparisons. I mean, it's a Cybertronian bumblebee. I mean, what can you really say? So, that's that. And I'm actually really happy uh, now that I found out that you can take the spoiler off. Um, here's what it looks like with the spoiler on. And here's what it looks like with the spoiler off. I, I, th I think I like the spoiler off better. I really do. Um, but anyway, uh, the Hen K Bumblebee is phenomenal. I highly recommend it. If you have the money or have the chance... Definitely pick one up, because um, it, it belongs on the classic shelf where Bumblebee should go. Um, you know, because he, he actually is a little bit shorter than the other universe characters. In fact, I think I'll just bring one down. Here's Hound. So he is a little bit shorter than the others, like he should be. And... Um, Really happy about that. Um, just really nicely done. So, uh, this is Transformers Hen K Classics Bumblebee, and um, this is Camzilla51 signing off.